that I have victory inside is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications and Ministries Incorporated, and I am Reverend Christopher Urban, founder and CEO. Today, I have a powerful word for you, and I want you to join me as we go deep sea fishing into the word of God. And when we come up, I promise you, you're going to be blessed and you're going to be victorious. I want you to take a look at this book of Philippians with me this morning. I will be brief. I'm on the way to a very important event. It's the 38th anniversary of my pastor, Reverend Anthony A.W. Motley's 38th year as senior minister of Lindsay Street Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a powerful mentor to me. And one thing he has taught me, and that is what this word is about today. Today, I'd like to use as a message, a topic, press on, press on. Look with me at Philippians, the third chapter of Philippians. And I'm going to read the 12th through the 14th verse. 12 through 14. And God's word so read. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after it, that I may apprehend that which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press forward toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Paul's making a very powerful statement in this today. You know, as Christians, we go through so many different things in our lives. But we find that if we continue to press on in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahshua, Jesus Christ, all things are possible through Christ. You know, in the beginning, even in the beginning of the word of God, God's people had to press on. And as they pressed on, they were successful. They were able to go places and do things that no one in the world thought they would be possible. Joseph pressed on, even though his siblings, his brothers hated him, threw him into slavery. He pressed on. He continued to have tribulations and the haters and naysayers behind him continued to try and trip him up, but he continued to press on. Paul and the other disciples, though being executed, and in times of tribulations, they continued to press on. Yahshua, telling his people, taking over the leadership after Moses was gone, he had to press on. And the result was the Israelites crossed over the river Jordan, the land that God had promised. David standing before Goliath saying, how dare you curse the armies of the living God, a mere boy against a giant, pressed on. And because he pressed on, a boy saved an entire nation. 
Press on, my brothers and sisters. We, as the people of God, must remember there are many around the world that hate the love of God. But remember, we can do all things through Christ who is within us. Because the disciples pressed on, we have the gospel of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, all around the world. Today, people in all countries around the world call on the name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, for healing, for deliverance. They press on. Sometimes you have to leave loved ones behind. Sometimes you have to leave siblings behind. Sometimes you have to leave entire families behind. If they are not walking in the walk that you're walking, if they're not going in the direction that you are going, press on. The angel told that one woman, do not look behind you. And she looked behind her and was destroyed as Sodom and Gomorrah. Press on, my brothers and sisters. The reason you're hearing this today, this message, is to be inspired and to be motivated to press on. Press on to the things which God has given you. Use those tools, those gifts which he has given you to press on. Don't look back. Don't look to your side, to your left, or to your right. But press on in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. And he will continue to deliver you. He will continue to take you to places you never thought you'd go. Press on. Pray with me for a moment that God gives us strength to continue in this fight, to continue in this struggle, to continue to press on. Father God, in the, main, in the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, we come this morning, many around the world, facing tribulations, facing speculations of haters, Father, we ask that you continue to make them our motivators. Father, help us to separate ourselves from the evil ones who would seek to see our demise. Someone around the world this morning, Father, is going through something, some financial struggle, some physical struggle, some cancerous struggle. We ask that you touch and that you heal right now in the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Touch, heal, deliver. You've got more power in the garment than any lawyer, any doctor. And we ask that you touch and that you heal and that you deliver right now. Father, we ask that you give us strength as we continue to press on. Press on and that we may touch somebody in some other nation. That we may touch somebody in our communities. That we may be a living example of your goodness and your mercy, which is forever. Help all to know, Father, that every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Yahshua, Jesus Christ, is Lord and Savior. We ask these things, Father, in your Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahshua's holy name, and together we as a family of God, claiming the victory, said amen, amen, and amen. Press on, press on, and God will take you to places you never thought you'd go. Press on, press on. Focus on the things that God has asked you to focus on. Focus on his word. Lean not to the world, but to the word of God. Press on, and he will deliver you. Thank you for joining us. We pray that this message has touched you. And we pray that you pass it on so someone else may press on. We ask that you support this ministry. How? By passing these CDs on, my, my short CDs, these short videos, so that we can touch somebody, so that we can reach around the world. 
You can purchase my videos and my CDs and my books. I have eight powerful books on Amazon.com. That helps us to continue to press on, to go places around the world so that we may spread the good news of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Until next time, we love you. But more importantly, God loves you. Knowing that, remember to wait upon the Lord and renew your strength. You'll mount up like wings of eagles, run and not be weary, walk and not faint, and press on. Keep the victory in sight.